I'm about to speak with Chaz Bono, an extraordinary man who actually grew up in the Hollywood spotlight as a young woman overcoming countless obstacles. But now he faces another challenge that he's opening up about and is allowing us to follow him on this new journey. Now Chaz has asked me to talk with him one-on-one, -on -one, no audience, no holds barred about a very sensitive issue that not only affects him, but it also affects many of you watching at home. Hey Chaz. Hi. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Thanks so much for coming. I am thrilled that you're here. Thanks. And I know you're here because you're worried about your health. And one thing I'd like to do is I'd like to share your backstory with everyone who's going to be watching this at home, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. I've been struggling with my weight since my mid to late 20s. When I look back at my pictures from high school, I actually thought that I was overweight at the time. So I spent a lot of time on a lot of diets in my childhood. My eating now is probably just too much. I really like food a lot, I really enjoy food. I don't drink, I don't do drugs, I don't smoke, I don't do any of those things. I take after my dad's side of the family and that's kind of how it is. My mom's mom is skinny, my mom, but on my dad's side, it's really different. I did lose some weight while I was dancing with the stars. Actually, the one thing that was awesome about it was the only time in my life where I could eat whatever I wanted and I was still losing weight, which was kind of crazy. Since I transitioned, my body fat level has gone down. I do have a bigger appetite now, which is, you know, one thing that testosterone does. I would like nothing more than to get to a healthy weight, but I'll be honest, it scares me because it's something that I haven't been able to do on my own. So, Chaz, one of the things I, I want to ask you is what made you decide to go ahead and do this on national TV? Um, well, I, I guess it's a couple things. First of all, this is really hard for me, and this is an issue that I don't talk about with people because it's so personal. And I, I, I also kind of hope that, you know, the pressure of doing something publicly will give me a little bit more incentive. Incentive and motivation. But you yeah. know that on this journey, there's ultimately one person in control, right? You know that. Of course, yeah. And that, that's going to be you.